Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am working on the very last page of my December daily. I created four little pages and I'm gonna stack them so I have to flip them up to look at them. I um, used a lot of scraps from my hip kit and um, it has a lot of snow and cocoa and pink fresh studio December days and I'm working on all of the pages at the same time and you see me switching from one to the other page in a little bit for most of them I just try to use up um, as much as I can from my um, winter stash or December stash or December kit and I try to make little layouts on those little pages For this page I wasn't sure what I'm going to do because the background paper is so busy with all those leaves and berries. So I decided to uh, make a little cluster at the bottom left right next to the photo. And you see me taking out this little epoxy piece from those wooden buttons. Um, since I stack five pages, I didn't want to have uh, too many very thick or chunky embellishments. And throughout my book, I tried to keep it pretty flat so it wouldn't get too chunky. already filmed a flip through of the book that is on my channel already and I will link that at the end of the video. Here I'm using teeny tiny letter stickers from Webster's Pages that I received from my friend Marta. Hi Marta if you're watching. Thanks for those, I love those. And I'm spelling out the name of the town that we went to at the Baltic Sea and the date. For the 
this page I wasn't sure what to do as well because of that busy background so I decided to just add um, tiny embellishments I already used those letter stickers but I thought that um, cutting out the shape makes sense because um, then I have the word winter again for me to use. And for the last page I kept it simple as well. I um, backed the photo with white cardstock. And I will rip that off the page. This time I managed to get it off without ripping the whole paper. I tried to use the Snow and Cocoa ephemeras, but they are too large for those small pages. Even though this looked good, um, I will end up using some cutouts from a 12x12 sheet of pattern paper from uh, Pink Fresh Studio. Yeah, I ripped the paper a little bit at the bottom, but that will be covered up with those, with that um, cut out. So if you want to see some other pages of my December Daily, there is a playlist on my channel called December Daily 2017 and there you find all the process videos that I filmed. I didn't film a process video for every single page, but for most of them.
that my pages are done, I will um, glue them on top of each other. I used a strong double-sided tape and I will stack them so that I glue right behind that score line so they lift up easily. And once that is done, I will glue that stack of pages or flaps into my book. I hope you liked my last video for my December daily series. I hope you enjoyed everything. I really love this book and how it turned out. There is a flip through that I will link at the end of the video. And there's also a playlist of all my process videos that I filmed. I didn't film every single page, but most of them. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!